Hello everybody and welcome to Charity Plays does another Charity Chronicle that's two charities in one sentence and now saying it out loud it makes me feel like it makes me feel like self-centered. I don't know. Anyways, as you guys can see in the background, we got a little bit of Kingdom Hearts 2 going on. This is my boss fight against Link and Will. I'm not 100 percent sure if I won or lost this boss fight because God I know it's been like a month or two since I last seen this gameplay. So yeah. But anyways, you guys seen the title of the video. In today's Journey Chronicles, I think it's about time I let you guys know on how I met the homie, Dr. Doom Gaming, or Sid Gaming, or whatever you want to call him. Also, speaking of Sid Gaming, aka Dr. Doom, uh, if you check the eye icon in the upper hand, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you will see a link that leads straight to his channel. So how about for everyone who watches this, how about you go over there and subscribe to him, let him know if he already sent you. So yeah, how did I meet Dr. Doom Gaming? Well, to tell you this story, because I probably sound like a grandfather already, about to tell his young grandchildren, about to tell his young grandchildren stories about the war he was never in. We, I gotta take you back, back to middle school, which was, which just so happened to be some of the most lit years of my school, of my schooling life. Just trust me. I can tell you right now. You guys seen some of my videos where I'm like, oh well, when I was in middle school, it was lit. Middle school was lit for me. Like anybody asked me, what was your best years in middle, what was your best years in, in your schooling life? Everybody be, wanted me to be like, oh, it was my high school years, tee, tee, tee. Nah, it was my middle school years. Middle school years was definitely lit. But yeah, let's get to the story. So anyways, oh man, I met Dr. Doom back in the seventh grade. And I remember the only reason we even met, or we even said anything to one another, is because a few weeks into the uh, schooling, into the schooling year, um, my teacher had took us, or my reading teacher to be more exact, had took us to the uh, computer lab to work on Study Island. Now, anyone who's a true old head, you know what Study Island is. It's pretty much that website you go on to where they have you working on different topics and different subjects. You know, you answer questions, and then eventually, once you have a proficiency of 70% or higher, you can start like playing games after you complete the um you know after you complete uh, study island um not study island but you know you complete the subject you were uh you were doing for it so yeah um so yeah um our reading teacher took us down there and her and to be fair we had a pretty big class we were almost bordering 40 kids in one class so my teacher didn't have enough computers for everybody to just have their own so she was just like okay people are just gonna have to pair up because we're all using desktops and my teacher pairs me up with Dr. Doom Gaming at the time. Now, when we got paired up, I'm, we're just sitting there laughing and joking and whatnot, and we just eventually become friends. That's how that happened. Now, we didn't become full-on friends. We just became like acquaintance, you know? We see each other, we would say hi, what's up, and whatnot. But the real reason we became friends, and I remember this to this day, now, this is going to be a throwback, because Dr. Doom doesn't have this video up on his channel anymore. And if you're watching this, which I know you are, Dr. Doom, you might know what video I'm talking about. So, this is video on Dr. Doom's channel called Middle School Stories, or there was, before he deleted it. And in that video, he was talking about two stories. The first story he was talking about was how we had a, we had like a teacher who was more into younger girls, if you catch my drift. Like, as in Chris Hansen probably should have paid him a visit. So, yeah, that was the first story he talked about. The second story that he talked about was how we were in the gym, and me and him ended up fighting like five guys, and we beat the shit out of them. Here's the thing. He didn't tell you guys that full story. Now, that story can become its own story. Like, it's a story, but it also has a sub-story to it for how everything got to where it was. But we're going to leave that for another day. Now, this is all you guys need to know. So there was this guy. He didn't like me because I was becoming friends with this girl. Right? I was becoming friends with this girl. Now I don't really talk to her that much that often now. Dr. Doom probably knows who I'm talking about when I say a certain girl. Long story short, Dr. Doom, if you want a quick example of who this girl was, John Johnny when I remember if I say Johnny, uh Jonathan used to date her. So there's that. Like that's like the easiest hint you need to know. Um so yeah, so Eventually, uh, this one guy, he got pissed off because I was becoming friends with this girl that he was trying to make his girlfriend. But, I guess, like, in order to make that happen, he had to make it 
So, like, he had no competition whatsoever. So, what he ended up doing was he kept kind of saying, like, yo, man, don't be talking to my girl or whatnot. And she never said she was, she was dating him, nor never confirmed it. So, I assume they weren't dating. Kept talking to him. And eventually, he tried to get me jumped one day. So, we were in the gym, and we're just doing our thing in the gym. And he's sitting here trying to tell me, like, hey, man, you should come into the bathroom. You should come into the bathroom. Like, I need to talk to you real quick. Now, any smart person knows, or any basic person knows, that everybody who, like, someone who wants something, like, who, like, body, like, let me put it like this. Body language, when you talk to somebody, lets you know, like, what that person I can't really express it, but like body language just gives someone's true intentions away. How about that? The way this guy was speaking, it was like, you know, in his voice, he's like, yeah, man, you know, I'm all friendly and whatnot, but his body language is just like, I got second, I got secondary motives for why I want you to come in this bathroom. You know, um, first thing that comes to my head is, Nigga, you want your penis sucked. I ain't down for that. You know, this ain't prison, homie. Like, I ain't been I ain't been behind the bars that long now. But nah, but for real though, like, his body language just, like, said something completely different. So, when I'm going in to go ahead and get changed, because usually I got changed, like, 20 minutes before class ended, because I, I hated having to wear shorts and t-shirts for gym. So, as I was getting ready to go in there, I see the guy who doesn't want me talking to the girl for a specific reason, and like four other people going to the locker room. So I'm so I look and the guy who I'm talking about, he's like pointing at me and whispering to the other four guys. So I see this and now I'm already like, yeah, something's about to happen. I don't appreciate this. So I go t I go and I see the homie Dr. Doom. And I go up to him, I'm like, hey man, I need you to do me a really big favor. Like I swear this is like the most important thing I could ever ask you to do right now and we don't even know each other. He's like like, what's going on, man? Like, what's, what's going on? I'm like, listen, it's very important. I need you to sit as close to the, um, I need you to sit as close to, from the bleach. Basically, what I asked him was, sit as close on the bleachers, like, as close as you can get to the locker room, or just sitting on the bleachers that you can, and just look in there periodically. Like, just look in there, like, every minute or so. And he was like... Why, man? I said, I don't know, but something in my gut is just telling me to just ask you to just just look in that locker room. Don't go in there. Just look. All right? Like, if you hear a lot of commotion while I'm in there, just come in there and just come check on me. He's like, all right, man, cool. Whatever. I got you. So, I end up going in the, in the locker room because I got to change. And these guys go in there, and they're trying to jump me. Five guys are trying to jump me, right? Like I said, we'll get into the whole reason why they were trying to jump me into a whole different story. But all you guys need to know is they were trying to jump me. So, one of the guys, he ends up rushing me. So, when he tries to punch me, I end up grabbing his fist and I end up throwing him into a locker. Now, I'm running, like I'm running the opposite direction from the, where I just threw the guy into the front of the door. And I know for a fact Dr. Doom sees me. So, Dr. Doom happens to just look over at the same time I'm running past the door to see one of the guys run up to me and try to pin me against the wall. I throw him against the wall and then I move away. Now, these guys got me cornered against the lockers and one of the guys get ready to go to swing on me. And I will never forget this because this is the funniest thing that ever happened. And I'm like, oh shit. Like, this is how I knew Dr. Doom was like one of the coolest dudes ever. So I'm pinned up against the lockers. And Dr. Doom, right? No bullshit. Before I even knew this was who it, who it was who was running, I just seen this black flash like run ahead of me. I just seen the black figure like run ahead of me and then BAYOW hit the first guy who's standing in front of like in front of like everybody like he's about to attack me. So Dr. Doom hits this guy so hard, he boom, the guy hits the ground, he's done. Didn't even get up. And then all I see is Dr. Doom turn around, pull up his shorts and put his guard up. And he's like, bro, y'all not finna jump my mask like that. Like what's really good? Like y'all really want this work or what? So I see him and then I'm like, oh yeah, now it's a 2v4. My phone just went off. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a 2v4. Like, what's really good? So, we end up fighting these guys, right? And if you watch Dr. Doom video, he expresses how we beat the shit out of these guys. And I, for one, can truly say we beat the shit out of them. Like, he may have, he may have beat the shit out of them more than me, but nonetheless, they got the shit beat out of them. And it was just utterly hilarious because it's like... Yeah, damn. It was five of y'all, and y'all couldn't take down two people. That's hilarious.
So eventually we ended up fighting them. Um, we ended up fighting them. Long story short, um, after we fought them, a uh, PE teacher came in there, pulled us out. The, they pretty much deducted to me and the other guy who I was talking about earlier, um, who was the main problem with this. They asked us what, what was going on. They asked us a bunch of questions. Uh, the guy tried to pin everything on me, uh, Dr. Doom, because I was telling him what was going on. Uh, every now, you know, I was just telling him like what was going on periodically like yeah, dude did this that and the third Dr. Doom was like alright cool, you know, whatever So they asked us if we had anybody who could verify what we were saying I called in Dr. Doom, Dr. Doom vouched for me eventually uh, after getting that sorted out uh, The guy got suspended and me and Dr. Doom ended up becoming friends from that day forward So yeah, like one fight with five people and me and Dr. Doom were friends. That's all I can say that's literally how we became friends. If you were to go ask him right now, how did you and TRD become friends? Oh, well, you know, we beat the shit out of some guys in a locker room because they were trying to jump, they were trying to jump TRD and we beat the shit out of them. So, yeah. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy this video, how about you go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. And also, how about you go ahead and check out the homie Dr. Doom Gaming. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video right here. Uh, TRD plays out. Peace. And I'll see you guys in the next one.